Good morning guys and welcome to today. I'm gonna uh, figure out the comment thing because when YouTube turned off our comments, they turned it off so that you could comment on the video and then the next day they disappeared. And when Sam messed around with it, it doesn't work like that now. So I'm gonna try and get it. Cause I miss you guys. Like I hate that Gabby had the best lesson. So did Sophie, wait till you see that. And um, you guys couldn't even tell me what you thought. So go join our Facebook page or uh, follow us on Instagram because like I want to hear what you guys thought about that um, oh, or pop jam because I have pop jam yeah or pop jam because you could chat with Sophie on pop jam <laughs> and my name on pop jam is cookie 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 okay so anyways um, I realized a few things last night too. There was another lesson happening at the same time as our lesson and those parents and that trainer were laughing and joking like some lessons I know a lot of you guys have lessons that are super strict and it's just the trainer and the student and sometimes even the parents aren't even around um, but our where we live and the relationship that we have with our trainers and the relationship they have with their trainers um, is all like a nice amazing like I love our lessons like getting in the middle of the ring and being a part of it and being a spectator and getting into the excitement of it because it gets super exciting and I think our trainers maybe like that like that too. So I have to wear these gloves because they have gloves. Yeah, yesterday she had gloves with holes in her fingers and she was freezing. But anyway, my point is I know a lot of you guys think we should get the heck out of the lessons, the parents, but I love it. It is my favorite part and I hope that that's what makes our lessons kind of exciting too. Also, I put hardly any music in yesterday's lesson so you guys could hear it all. I hope you appreciate it because it was hard. <laughs> it was hard. Anyway, let's get on with our pets. Do you get a grain bucket? Her grain bucket's in her stall. Yesterday, I did not know that Storm was stuck in his stall for two days because of the ice. Some horses were in, some horses were out. Horsey kisses. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Mom, Hurry up, no, get her grain. It's like when you're owned by a child and they're like dwaddling around for 55 minutes and you're so hungry. She's like, get me my food. Yes. Our horses are so good. Anyways, poor Storm, I felt so bad. Like so bad. Cause we could have been there, we could have like taken him out, let him go for a run. Stella, you pooped so much. What the heck? What the heck, Stella? Say hi. Say hi. Anyway, it's been really, I've been feeling so much pressure lately because um, the horses, like we don't spend hardly any time with them right now. Like at two hours a day, that's it. And it's because it's so cold out. Like we just can't be down here all the time. Ugh. I always put a bucket of hay with water in it in front of this door to keep it locked up when we're not here. But yeah, I didn't know Storm was locked in his stall. And it's not his fault. It's not anybody's fault. The ice is bad. So out here, I'll show you. No ice where Sam put all the, all the footing down. No ice, no ice, no ice. And then just a little patch there. So our horses are okay. It's cold though. I feel really bad putting them out there. They love it in here. Look at all the poop down there. There's poop everywhere. Like what the heck? And it's gonna be frozen. Tomorrow's supposed to get warmer. Ruby, don't eat horse poop. That is disgusting. Oh. What are you thinking? Ruby, leave it alone. <laughs> Gross. No, no, and that's no, why we touch. pick up our horse poop. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. Step away from the comfort zone. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the best way to pick up frozen poop in the dirt. Uh, nothing else works except for hands. I got gloves on. The poop is frozen. And I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, you have a lot to learn. But you know what? This is working for me, you guys. I unstuck it from the ground with a big heavy rake and then I'm just picking it up. The horses are watching me. They're like, oh my goodness. We have never seen this done before. I wonder what is wrong with that girl. But don't they look beautiful though? I just love our girls. And be a little brave So take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own it's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on. 
You have kissed? Let me try. Okay, so I'm actually sitting on the ground right beside this little horse. And I'm not even scared. Like this, when we first got her, I would never have been sitting on the ground with her. Like I can't believe the difference in her and our relationships. And I know it's all about the treats. <laughs> Don't turn her butt to me. Like, are you crazy? If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. A bit frightening with something you don't know. You need a little enlightening, it'll make you go. It's a beautiful world out there. So, uh, this is the uh, rest of their hay for lunchtime. Doesn't seem like a lot. I give them the most first thing in the morning so that it's like their belly is full. You know what I love about this girl so much? It says she tells us what she like. I can read her the easiest because she's so vocal. So today I put my hand under her blanket and I gave her belly a big scratch. And I gave her a big scratch and she was snorting and she was so happy. Right, Stella? Um, oh, you look good. Oh, you want some too? <laughs> you guys, you might not know this, but she didn't really come up to us a whole heck of a lot. Now she's like, love me too. She's like, only wants the treats though, but we're getting her used to being handled. Oh, I said you're a good girl. Yes, you are. She's like, oh, scratch me there. Oh, I said you're a pretty girl. Yeah. I know, Willow makes, she does. She makes me kiss her nostrils. Ew. Goes, I think I kissed her nostrils too. It was so gross. Race car driver has another horse for us to look at. Um, it is a mare. She is young. She's only eight. She's a Percheron, a Percheron something cross. She's like a big black, you know, I don't even know the breed. It's just a beautiful, stunning. She's a mare. Uh, she's wide, but she's not like super overweight. She doesn't have any problems. Um, she's not like that. She can jump. I love our girls. Like they're the best girls, but we're like kind of turned off girls a little. Right? Yeah, we don't want any more mares. Why don't we want any more mares? They're sassy. And they're mares. And yeah, they're sassy and they're mares. Yeah. So, I mean, we've had really good luck with Willow and we had good luck with Sabrina and we have good luck with Stella. But I don't know, there's just something like you, you just either are a mare person or you're a gelding person. I feel like I'm a mare person, but I'd rather ride a gelding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She's telling us about them and Sophie and I are like, mm, I don't know, but we'll see. We'll have to see. Like, we have both of them working together, but we'll see. And Sam did find a gelding, chestnut gelding, that, um, I don't know, we might be going to look at this weekend. You want to go look at a chestnut gelding this weekend? Sure. Heck yeah. So, the okay. chestnut gelding would probably be for Gabby to ride more and Sophie would ride more Storm. Gabby would ride Storm too. Don't get me wrong, Gabby is never going to give up her horse. Like, he loves her, she loves him, and I think Gabby has a lot to learn on him still. But, I mean, having an, another horse that can we can all advance on uh, is only going to be a good thing. So, whoever rides him when they need to ride him is what will happen. And then, um, the black horse that race car driver found for us is more for Sophie and me. Okay, come kiss Willow. Come kiss so we'll see what happens. I noticed that Stella here is starting to really bond with Gabby. She will turn her head around and kind of cuddle up to Gabby a little and a look to make sure she's still beside her. Like she tries to bring her close to her body. Kind of, she tries to like fold her into her. Like Sabrina when I got Yeah, kicked. like Sabrina when you got kicked and she was trying to protect you and keep you close. That's one thing I love about mares. Yeah, big scratches. One thing I also have learned on this whole journey is that you guys are probably gonna be like, ah, duh, but the fastest way to bond with your horse is just to do something nice for them. Just to show them, like, just do nice things for them. And feed them. Yeah, and feed them. I have something super fun planned for the girls today in homeschool, and it's a surprise, and it involves stuff from the barn. Just don't pass on the day If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there 
So what do you think so far? First time ever it's sewing. Easy. Is it fun though? It's satisfying, right? Uh-oh. I think, uh-oh. There's a problem with my bobbin. It's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. Oh, it's a beautiful world out there. All right, you guys, a few hours later, and Gabby has her bag finished. Remember, we sold, we sold the bottom, and she sold some straps on, and that's her bag. Okay, so this is it. She's gonna actually uh, uh, do some editing to the picture, but this is her bag. And the tutorial that we followed, they had like a better, a better bottom part, but it was just too confusing for us. So, and she sewed the whole thing all herself. So now she has a grow and win grocery bag that we can take to the store. Yeah, Storm's a little grain bag. And um, yeah, like, that was a I love it. What do you think, Abby? It's cool. All right, Sophie, you ready to finish yours? This is Sophie. She's just gonna put her handles on. And just don't pass on the day. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. Oh, if you have the will and a moment to spare. It's lunchtime, and it is cold. Woo! Like so cold. The race is on to get to the ponies. Ugh. So, it's been really funny. Oh, it's cold in here. It's really funny because uh, Stella's been sitting in that doorway because it's too cold to go outside. It's cold in here, actually. And she's been staring at the house for the last 20 minutes. Willow comes out. She looks up at the house for us. Hello, princess. Hello, hello. So much kissing going on in this family. We are a kissing family. Like all we want is to love. And Stella just wants the hay. All right. Look, I cleaned all that poop up today and now there's more poo. Yeah, close the door. I mean, they don't go out anyway. No, just close it all the way. It's cold in here. They don't go out though. Here's they don't the thing. Go out unless they want food. Yeah, here's the thing I learned about horses this week. Every week I learned something new. They don't like to be outside in the freezing cold weather. They don't like to just be like it's not about being outside. It's about going where the food is. <laughs> Hi. Hi princess. Oh, you are such a princess. <laughs> whoa. Oh, whoa. Did you see that? Willow, did, I guess she thinks I have treats and she's telling to Stella, get away from my treats. And then Stella's like, I'm not Okay, ready. I'm fine. I got all the hay. Hello. <laughs> she's yeah. the cutest. Guys, look at Willow's back. Oh, she's covered in snow. Like, that's terrible. <laughs> I kiss her not. Kiss her, Dad. Kiss her. Go like this. I see so many horses outside with no shelter. I'm so glad we have this place that we can keep them Hello. inside and warm. Lunch is overcooked, guys. Can't scrape it out of the bucket. We should really just leave the bucket in here and let them eat out of the bucket. I know, and people say that, but it has to be secured because it's not safe. I also made another observation. In the past, Stella was the boss of Willow, but now that Willow's starting to feel attached to us, she's got more attitude towards Stella. I just wanna see if she's wet because I don't want a wet horse. I think she's okay though. See, snow on her back. I know, I'm trying to get it off. Yeah, I'll wipe it off of her. There was a time I wouldn't have gone behind this pony. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. But there's still a time that I will not go behind this pony just while she's getting used to us. <laughs> that is not okay, Missy. Who? Willow's pinning her ears at me? Hey, Missy, if you... No, no, pin ears. <laughs> you know pin ears. All right, no let's go. Let's go before I freeze to death. Hey, guys, we are at Baby Jack's house. Um, you know, when the babies come, your house turns into the baby's named house. This is not Nick's house or Jesse's house. This is Baby Jack's house. Anyway, uh, Nick and Jesse invited us over for supper, and I'm going to show you what we're having. So we're having salad and ribs. 
So Nick made these ribs. That was the first Yep, I grew them. He grew them on his farm. <laughs> no, not really. I guess for any of you guys that don't eat meat, look away quick. But yeah, look at those ribs. And he's got some sauce he's gonna put on them now. But wow, what did you put in that? In that? That is beef broth. Beef broth keeps oh. them from getting dried out. They look so good. Nice and juicy. Look at this beautiful baby, you guys. Look at how chubby he is. He is exclusively breastfed, and look at how chubby he is. He's got this big, huge spare tire going on. He's tired, he just had his supper. Look at how cute, though. Who do you think he looks like, Nick or Jesse? What do you think he looks like, baby Jack? Look at, there's lots of people looking at you. He's like, oh my goodness. They're so cute. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.